Non-human space travelers are nothing new and far from secret. In the last half of the 20th century, we humans have sent all manner of animals to space in the name of science, and there's no getting around the terrible sacrifice that they made along the way. Today, we're going to be exploring five of the original pioneers of space exploration. Before we get to the dogs, cats, and primates that boldly went off Earth, not that they had any choice in the matter, we have to start at the beginning. And in the beginning, there was the lowly fruit fly. In the summer of 1946, fruit flies became the first living and sentient organisms to go to space inside a suborbital V2 rocket. A year later, they became the first of their kind to return from a suborbital flight alive, setting the stage for a whole Noah's Ark of living creatures to do the same. But why fruit flies first? Turns out, we share way more in common with them than you think, including many genes. In fact, about 75% of human disease-causing genes are found in the fly in a similar form. On top of that, they're easy to breed, all of which makes them perfect test subjects for scientific exploration of any kind, including testing for potential radiation in space and the effects of zero gravity. Within a few years, though, we moved up the food chain in a big way. Meet Albert II. This little guy should frankly be a household name for his contributions to space science. On June 14, 1949, the male rhesus macaque monkey was strapped into a US V2 sounding rocket and blast to an altitude of 83 miles, or 134 kilometers, above the Earth. Albert II became the first primate and first mammal ever to go to space. For thousands of years before him, ancient astronomers and stargazers could only imagine the short voyage he undertook all by himself. Unfortunately for him, his return ticket did not go as planned. A parachute failed during re-entry and Albert II died on impact. Scientists were able to track his respiratory and cardiological data until the very end. Rest in peace, Big Al. But humans were just getting started, and next on our list of space pioneers is man's best friend. Laika started her life as a stray pup on the mean streets of Moscow. Little did she know, she would go on to become maybe the most famous space animal of all time. Soviet scientists chose a stray dog on purpose, figuring conditions of extreme cold and hunger were something she was already used to. Humans still didn't know much about the biological effects of spaceflight, and the goal with Laika was to prove a living organism could survive the radiation and weaker gravity associated with being in orbit around the Earth. On November 3, 1957, Laika's fateful journey began. At the time, there was still no technology to deorbit, meaning she was never expected to survive. As one of the technicians preparing her for her flight later recounted, after placing Laika in the container and before closing the hatch, we kissed her nose and wished her bon voyage. Hours after takeoff and into her fourth orbit of the planet, Laika died overheating. Her tragic story didn't get much criticism in the Soviet Union at the time, but Years later, one of the scientists responsible for sending Laika into space expressed regret, saying, we shouldn't have done it. We did not learn enough from this mission to justify the death of the dog. Laika has since been immortalized in songs, books, statues, and even a postage stamp. Meanwhile, humans were ready to move on with an animal even more like ourselves. Introducing Ham the Chimp, AKA the Astro Chimp, AKA Chop Chop Chang. But before becoming the first great ape launched into space, he was known only as number 65. This chimpanzee was born in the wild of what was then known as French Cameroon back in 1957. He was captured by trappers and sent to Florida, where he was purchased by the US Air Force and brought to Holloman Air Force Base. There, he underwent 18 months of training by a neuroscientist, who taught him to accomplish tasks like pushing levers in response to electric lights and sounds. If number 65 followed instruction, he received a banana pellet. If he didn't, he got electric shocks to the soles of his feet. On January 31st, 1961, the three and a half year old was deemed ready for liftoff and strapped into the Mercury Redstone launch vehicle. His suborbital flight blasted off from Cape Canaveral and lasted nearly 17 minutes before landing safely in the Atlantic Ocean. Not only did number 65 survive, he experienced about six minutes of weightlessness and walked away with nothing more than a bruised nose. He was immediately rewarded with an apple and a real name. HAM is an acronym for the lab where he was trained, the Holloman Aerospace Medical Center. Apparently, Ham was named before the mission in case he didn't survive, but survive he did. Ham died at the ripe old age of 25 at a zoo in North Carolina. In the early 1960s, France's own space program was determined to keep up with the Americans and the Soviets. So they planned a four-legged flight of their own, and they turned to a Parisian street cat with a knack for landing on her feet. 
Felicette, or C-341 as she was originally known, was one of the 14 female cats trained for a space flight, but only she was selected for the mission. And on the morning of October 18, 1963, C-341 was launched from a French space facility in Algeria. Electrodes were implanted onto her skull to monitor her neurological activity during the suborbital flight. Felicette felt more than 9 Gs of acceleration on the way up and experienced 5 minutes of weightlessness. 13 minutes later, she was back on Earth and recovered by a helicopter. To this day, Felicette is the only cat to have ever survived a journey in space. Overlooked and forgotten for decades, she too has finally been memorialized for her troubles in the form of stamps and a bronze statue at the International Space University in Strasbourg, France. We have all of them to thank for the knowledge that we have today about the final frontier. So the next time that you look up at the night sky, spare a thought for the original pioneers of space exploration.